All right, during this crazy COVID time, one of the projects that my boys wanted to take on was to figure out how to capture their gameplay, uh, Fortnite, Minecraft, and so forth, um, and publish it on YouTube. That's, that's one of the projects they wanted to tackle. So in order to do that, we had to figure out the best way to get the video off of the Xbox and onto the computer. And it took a little bit of figuring. I'm going to record this video so that they can set it up if, um, if something gets disconnected or messed up or whatever. But also, it took a little bit more figuring than I was expecting um, in order to get the, a simple system set up for them. And, uh, hey, Katie. Oh. Anyway, it took a little bit more effort than I was expecting in order to get this set up for them um, in, a, in a really simple way. Um, because of some quirks of the, of the equipment, so I thought I'd just show those to you real fast and maybe it helps you. So, uh, the heart of the system is an Elgato HD60S capture card, and this is what allows the video feed from the Xbox to be split off to go to the TV, but also to the computer. And so this is a capture card that you can purchase, um, and it's, it's very simple. It's got an HDMI input on one end, and that is for an input from the Xbox. So Xbox into the capture card, then you take another HDMI cord and hook it up to the output, and this is going out to your TV. So the TV is over there. I'm just gonna walk you through the basic setup and then I'll go hook it up and show you what it's like to set up on the computer. You also then take the cord that came with it. This is a USB-C to USB-A cable and hook it up um, to the USB-C input on the capture card. And I don't have a USB-A input on my computer. I only have USB-C here. So I'm using this converter going from USB-C to USB-A. So I'll hook that up. So that is the basic setup. We go from the Xbox in to the HDMI of the, of the capture card and the capture card HDMI out to the TV. And in order to get the video onto the computer, we go from the USB-C into the MacBook Pro. Now this MacBook Pro doesn't have a standalone graphics card. It's got an integrated um, Intel graphics uh, set. And so that's kind of the complication. The Elgato software does not allow you to record directly to this fancy MacBook Pro um, through their software. We have to find a workaround. So. That's the basic setup. My boys also wanted to include um, a face cam on there, which you don't have to do, but they wanted to do. So I bought this super cheap webcam off of Amazon. The Logitech C920 is sold out, or has been at least, um, due to the, to the pandemic. So um, if you want to add a face cam, this simple inexpensive face cam or webcam has worked really well, and that just plugs into the USB-C port as well. So that's the basic setup. Let's go hook it up to the TV and show you what it looks like on the software side. All right, so we've got the physical components all hooked up. That was really easy. Now we're gonna download the software. We're gonna download OBS. That stands for Open Broadcaster Software. This is free software that you can get on the website here. Just click the link, download, and it'll start, uh, start downloading to your computer. We're also going to get software called OBS Link. And what this does is it allows the computer to read from the Elgato capture card. We could use the Elgato software that comes with the capture card, but the problem is it doesn't work with our Mac because it's got an integrated graphics card. Elgato requires, at least for the HD60S, an independent graphics card. So here we're going to go download the Elgato Link software that will pull it, allow us to take the feed off of our capture card and into our computer, into the OBS software. So now that these two programs are downloaded, we're going to go ahead and install them, the same way you install any software on a Mac. Pretty easy. Go ahead and uh, eject the drives once you're done installing them and moving to the trash to just keep things cleaned up. The OBS link is zipped, but that's no big deal. All right, the thing you want to check now that OBS link is installed and up and running is that it's recognizing the game capture card. So that's what I'm doing there in the menu bar. Just making sure that it sees the Elgato game capture card. So it does, so we're gonna go ahead and start the OBS software. And this is the basic OBS software. Um, it's relatively simple, but it's also very powerful. So we need to add a new video source. As you can see, our screen is blank, and that's not what we want. So we're gonna add an NDI source. 
that's what this is called, uh, the, the type of source that comes off of the Elgato Link software. So that's what we're doing here, and I'm picking the, the link that the Elgato OBS link creates for us. Don't need to make any substantial changes here, just give it a name that you recognize. Alright, so I've added the source, and it's going to take a look at what's coming from OBS link, and hopefully here shortly, we'll start seeing our video. There it is. Alright. <laughs> a little celebration. So let's add the webcam while we're at it. This is going to be a video capture device, and we could use the built-in webcam on the, on the laptop, but we've got that USB camera that we plugged in. So I'm just going to call this webcam and find it here, USB 2.0 camera it looks like. Hit OK. All right. That's column there. Go ahead and arrange the screens um, so that we can get the, the webcam overlay placed somewhere that's not too disruptive for the gameplay. And we can also adjust the volume that goes for each of the microphones. Um, the microphone on the webcam is what we're using to record the, the voices, and then the um, NDI source is obviously where the, the sound, the game sounds are coming from, from the Xbox through OBS Link. So that's the gist of it. Click the Start Recording button, and uh, yeah, make a simple little recording. Go ahead and click the Stop Recording button, and now let's go ahead and take a look at the files that it's created. So. By default, OBS creates files in MKV format, but that's not very useful for us. We want MP4s. So we're going to have to remux them um, using this, this process right here. And that's just going to create a new container, um, take the MKV file and convert it to an MP4 so that it's easily you know, shareable on YouTube or whatever. So here's our generated MP4 file, and this is exactly what we could upload to, to YouTube now that we're now that we're all set. So that's the basic idea. It's really very simple in the end um, and just had to find a couple ways to get around the limitations that come with the built-in Elgato software, but again, no big deal. Let's go have some fun. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't die. Let's go! Yeah, buddy. First game together. Hey, give me that five. Woo uh, I was very helpful there at the end, and um, yeah, thanks for killing me and then killing everybody else. You killed everybody at the end. I guess that works.